Hello everyone, my name is Aaron Campbell and welcome to Backyard Science. I am a nature educator at Jackson Bottom Wetlands Preserve in Hillsborough, Oregon and I today am going to teach you guys how to be observant within your own backyard or your own neighborhood. So today to help you become observant I'm going to show you how to make some TP binoculars. So you guys will have your own observation tools handy whenever you need them. So TP binoculars are really easy to make and you're only going to need a few basic items. First off, you're going to need toilet paper rolls or you can also use a paper towel roll and cut it in half. All right. Next, you're going to need some scissors. Okay. And to connect your toilet paper rolls, you can use anything from glue to tape, a stapler, or even duct tape. Today, I'm going to use duct tape because this also helps make your binoculars a little bit more waterproof so you can use them outside. So, what we're going to do first is carefully or with an adult's help, you are going to take the scissors and you are going to poke a tiny hole in the side of your toilet paper roll. Now you want to make sure that it's not too close to the edge, but not too far down the middle either. Okay. So you're going to want to go maybe about a quarter down the toilet paper tube. And now carefully just kind of wiggle the scissors. All right. Do a circular motion and that will slowly create a little hole without stabbing yourself. You may have to apply a little pressure depending on the toilet paper roll you're using. All right. Now, these holes are going to be for your rope or your necklace. So you are going to need either a shoelace, um, some random rope you have around the house, or even some random string that you might find. Anything that's long enough to make it fit around your neck so you have a holding um, case, then that should work. Now your holes, you don't want to make too big. You want to make them just big enough for the rope to slip through. All right. Now, what we can do here is we're going to tape our toilet paper rolls together next. Okay. So you can choose to do the rope first if you'd like and then tape over. I'm just going to tape first. That way I have my binoculars already made. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to make sure that the holes are opposite of each other on the outsides of the toilet paper rolls. Okay. Make sure that your rolls are even with each other. All right. If one's off just a little bit, that's okay. But make sure they're to try to be close enough. All right. All right. And then carefully, I'm going to wrap the duct tape around here. So now oh, I'm going to have to redo it. My holes are not lining up with each other. So if you mess up, that is okay. You can go ahead and undo your tape and retape it just like I'm doing here. So make sure if you want, you can hold your toilet paper just like this 
That way the holes will stay together and the toilet paper will move. Okay, so use your thumb and your index finger. All right, so I'm going to wrap the TP around there. Good. Now once, or the tape, once the tape is wrapped around, your TP roll should stay in place. Now if you want, you can add duct tape around all of your TP rolls. That'll, like I said earlier, allow it to become a little bit more waterproof, but also it allows a really cool drawing surface. You can color it, you can paint it, you can make it your own. You can even put glue on it and it won't wet or ruin the cardboard. All right, now I'm gonna be very careful to make sure I don't duct tape over my holes. And when you have enough tape, you can go ahead and tear it off. And all right, and voila. So next, I'm going to put my rope through the holes here. And I have here just a rope that I found in one of my drawers in the kitchen. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap it around your neck and you wanna make sure that it's a good length down that hangs down kind of towards your rib cage. Okay, so about maybe right here. And then once your hands are even, you're gonna hold it right there and you're gonna snip. and it makes it a little easier. All right. So now we have a nice even rope that's long enough. All right. And then you're going to twist the end here and you're going to push the end through the hole. Do the best you can. If you need to, you can use the scissors or a pen Sorry, my cat is making a ruckus. So I've pulled it through the hole here like this, and you're gonna pull it up maybe about mm, two to three inches, okay? That way you have enough to tie it off, all right? And then go ahead and do the other thing with the same side, or the other side, the same, the same thing with the other side. And you want to pull them, like I said, about two to three inches up. So you can see how they're pulled up through the toilet paper hole. Now take each string and you're going to tie each end off. Now you can do any kind of loop, any kind of knot that'll work. I like to do a triple loop as you wrap it around the same rope three times and then loop it through its own hole that way it has a really tight snug a snug grip and it's not going to come loose at all okay and then So once that is tied off, you then have your homemade binoculars. So you can then take these outside in your backyard or a nature area close to your house or even down the street. And what it does, it's gonna help you focus your eyes on the object in front of you. All right, just like this. Now, if you have wider eyes like I do, and this seems a little too small for your face, you can always use a piece of cardboard 
or like I've used here, a little junk brochure from the mail, and you can fold it up, folding it over itself, just like this, accordion style, and you can tape it in between your binoculars or glue it, and what it does is it actually points your binoculars inwards. So you have a wider view to stick your eyeballs in, but when you look through it, you get one perfect circle, just like a real binocular, all right? So it's gonna help your vision focus on the things you're looking at. All right, and now to use our observational tools. So I am here in my front courtyard. Uh, I am in an apartment complex, so I myself do not have a backyard. But any kind of natural area along with trees or bushes is a great place to observe wildlife. Even in the middle of the city, you'd be surprised at what kind of animals you can see. So, using your binoculars is really simple, but it also takes a little bit of luck and a little bit of skill. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna use your hands like this, and you're gonna cuff them over your eyes. Now you don't have to touch your face, but just cuff them just above your eyes so it takes off your side vision. This is gonna help you focus. So you can look around your natural space, look for any kind of wildlife you may see, any kind of movement. What I like to do is sometimes stand in one place and stare. And if you see any movement, look at that movement and see what you might be able to find. So now, if you see something that you wanna look, you're going to stare straight at it, okay? So you wanna stare straight at whatever you're looking at, and you're gonna put the binoculars to your face, okay? So make sure that the tops of the binoculars are resting right above or right below your eyebrows here. That's gonna help you see the best through your binoculars, all right? Now, these TP binoculars do not have any magnification, but they do help you focus on the subject in front of you. So you'll find that even your own vision is pretty awesome at magnifying once you can focus on the certain thing in front of you. Now, like all binoculars, please follow the safety rules, okay? Never run with these, and never walk while you're looking through these because you might trip over something. And like always, even without binoculars, never stare into the sun with these, okay? All right, so again, my name is Aaron, and those are some observational tips that you can do in your backyard or your neighborhood, all right? Go find some animals.